and welcome to this quick tips video with me your host Billy Fishing. Yeah. So what's this video about? This video is about swivels and whether you should apply one or not. That's it. And it might seem a little bit simple to most people but it's a question that I asked myself in the beginning when I first started fishing as well and I was unsure and for many years I put swivels in front of everything and the truth of the fact is you just don't have to do it and it costs you money especially if you lose whatever you've connected it to and swivels are not cheap I don't know how many it is for five I think is it three euros or something like that that's money you don't need to lose in a rock and depending on what type of swivel you buy as well it can get very expensive indeed this is a power swivel from Japan and a packet of six of these will set you back a lot of money so I would prefer, and I suppose you would prefer as well, not to lose them at all. So where should you put them? The most common place I will put a swivel is on terminal tackle above the lead weight. And this is because that rig, at some point there is a chance because it is contacting the seafloor and the current pushes against it, it will move. And as it rolls, it will twist the line if there's no swivel there and it will bunch up like this and you'll get it up onto the beach and your rig will be tied into a knot and you probably will not be aware of why. And so the snoods weren't fishing, the bait wasn't fishing and all you got is a big hellish ball of, of mono. And to combat this, it's quite simple. You just put a swivel above the sinker, that's all. And whatever type of bait clip you got, either above or below the bait clip, it doesn't matter. So long as it's touching the lead weight, it will solve that problem for you. Other situations that you could apply a swivel is depending what type of fish that you are fishing for. For instance, if you're fishing into rough ground, it is most people's inclination not to put a lot of expensive swivels and stuff on the rig, but there is one fish where you should just ignore your instincts there and just go with as many swivels as you can get on it within reason. This is my conger trace. It's tied out of 250 pound mono, and I will link the build for this rig in the description as well. It's a really good conger rig catch a lot of fish and I have three swivels on this one for the lead weight that's just to tie a rotten bottom onto it of some type or description but it's got two one after another and this is because eels in general when you hook them they twist 360 degrees at a very high rate and if you don't have this on your rig it will tie the whole lot into a big ball if you're not using mono and you've gone for wire it will destroy your wire absolutely destroyed you'll have to take another rig out and start again so one fish for sure that you need swivels are eels of any type silver eels moray eels conger eels now apart from that with lures i really don't bother with it especially from the shore of course if you're fishing for big game or something tuna or something like that which i do not do from the shore there is probably a reason for having a swivel on it but that is not something that I will come across very often in my life so most of the time with lures unless the lure twists itself or the fish that you're going to catch is going to be twisting I will not put a swivel on it there are lures that do rotate 360 degrees and then you will need a swivel on it or if you're fishing in very fast currents as well that can also cause the lure to twist as well whether it rotates naturally itself or not and that is another application for a swivel but generally soft plastics fast jigs slow jigs i will just tie on with a piece of mono i use a lot of different knots i use a figure of eight i use a uni knot i use the one knot i link that video in the description as well that's a high strength jigging knot and that's basically it most of the time no swivels on lures and when you get hung up on the bottom of course Nine times out of ten, you're going to lose the jig. At least you haven't lost a pack of the swivels that day while you were fishing. So, I'm Billy. This is Billy's Quick Tips. Wherever you are in the world, remember, I'll see you on the beach. Bye.